Have you ever wondered why your skin looks like this, or this, or this, even when you spend a ton of money to buy expensive skincare products? This must be why. Hi everyone, I'm Kelly and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I clean my makeup brushes and sponges. Not cleaning them regularly can lead to a buildup of bacteria, oil, and dead skin cells, which can result in breakouts and even infections. Ideally, you should clean your brushes at least once a week or more frequently if you use them every day, especially when you have sensitive or acne-prone skin. I consider this as an important part of my skincare routine. Before I show you how I deep clean my brushes with soap and water, I want to talk about spot cleaning. I always do spot cleaning the brushes that are used to apply liquid cream or gel products right after using them as they tend to leave more residue on the brushes compared to powder products. I normally use the Cinema Secrets or the NYX brush cleaner for this step. I have a paper towel here and I put the brush close to the paper towel then spray the cleaner while turning the brush around to distribute the solution evenly on the bristles. Then I start swirling the brush around to clean it until there's no color coming out. However, it cannot remove all the products out as you can see. You still have to deep clean the brushes but this step will help the deep cleaning process so much easier. Cream products can also cause bacteria to accumulate more easily on the brush because the oils and emollients in cream products provide an ideal breeding ground for bacteria to grow and cause skin irritation, breakout, or other skin problems. In addition, if you don't clean your brushes after using cream products, the bristles can become stiff and the brush can lose its shape. This can make it more difficult to apply makeup smoothly the next time. It may not able to pick up and apply product evenly, result in a patchy or streaky application. And it can even cause irritation to your skin if the bristles are too rough. I find spot cleaning really helpful if you don't have a lot of brushes and a lot of time to clean them. As spot cleaners are designed to be fast drying to make it convenient for users to quickly clean their brushes without having to wait too long for them to dry. Most of brush cleaners contain alcohol which helps reduce the risk of bacterial growth and keep your brushes clean and hygienic. However, some types of alcohol can be drying and may damage some brush types if used too frequently. So remember that you still have to deep clean your brushes regularly. If you want to use your brush after spot cleaning, you need to wait for the alcohol to evaporate completely to avoid burning your skin. It only takes a few minutes depending on the size and density of the brush. Now let's talk about deep cleaning. Make sure your sink is clean and sanitized. I have some clean paper towels there to put the clean brushes on later. This is what I used to clean the brushes with. I had this silicone cleaning mat for years. It's very convenient and durable. It has different textures for different types of brushes and it just suctions to the bottom of your sink. If you don't have this, you can just use the palm of your hand and it works just fine. The cleanser I use today is from Delum Tools. It's a solid soap and it comes with a silicone cleaning pad in the cap which is convenient for traveling or if you don't want to buy a separate cleaning mat. There are liquid cleansers on the market but I prefer solids as they tend to last longer and require less product per use. Then I take a bowl and get some lukewarm water. I use this to damp my brushes so I don't have to keep the water running or turn the faucet on and off to save some water. Then I swirl the brush in the soap and swirl it on the cleaning mat in circles to really get into every bristles of the brush to remove the makeup residue. 
then rinse it and swirl it around in the palm of my hand to let the water get in the bristles and clean everything out. After that, I repeat if I see or feel any products still there. I also want to make sure I completely rinse the suds out. So I squeeze it and see if there are any suds in there and rinse it again until I get all of that residue out. When it's totally clean, I squeeze it again to get all the water out. Don't pull all the bristles too hard as you don't want the bristles to shed or fall out. Then I lay it flat on the paper towel. To avoid damaging your makeup brushes, it's important to clean them properly and avoid getting the furrow or the metal part that holds the bristles wet and never immerse the entire brush in water as water can loosen the glue that holds the bristles in place. I keep holding the brush pointing downwards not upwards while cleaning. For smaller size brushes, I normally grab a handful of them and clean them together. By doing this, it saves me a lot of time than cleaning them individually. I make sure to get them all to the same level, then I do the same process as before. A lot of people like to use dish soap with olive oil to clean their brushes. I don't do that because the dish soap irritates my skin. I do have very sensitive skin. I tried baby shampoos and facial cleansers before. They are very gentle, so it took much more time to clean as I had to clean my brushes a few times to completely remove the makeup residue. That's why I use the soap formulated specifically for cleaning makeup brushes to help them stay clean, condition, sanitize, and last longer. Moving to the sponges, I'm filling half of the bowl with water, just enough to soak the sponges. When they all absorb water, I take one out and swirl it in a cleanser in every angle of the sponge. Then gently massage it on the mat or with my hands. Then I squeeze it to get all of the makeup residue out. I keep massaging and squeezing until the suds are white. Then I rinse out and repeat if needed. So I squeeze it and see if there are any suds in there and rinse it again until I get all of that residue out. I always clean my sponges right after using them as they are porous and can absorb and trap moisture which can create an ideal environment for mold and bacteria to grow. And remember to not use your nails while cleaning as it can cause tearing like this. If you don't like to wash them every day, just buy a few and wash them on the weekend. Please don't keep using one sponge over and over again without deep cleaning it. Your skin deserves better. After cleaning, allow the sponges to air dry completely before storing it in a clean and dry place with a good ventilation. Don't put them in a closed makeup bag or your bathroom. Now back to the brushes, the best way to dry them is hanging them downwards. So I bought this drying rack on Amazon and it works really well. It's removable for easy storing and it has mixed size silicone holes for different size of brushes. Before hanging the brushes on, there's one last important step I saw many people skip that I want to share is to clean and sanitize the handle of the brush. I use a clean paper towel and spray some alcohol on, then wipe the handles. There might be some products built up, got on the handles, and you don't even notice. Look at this, really gross, right? So don't skip this step the next time you clean your brushes. Then I reshape the brush if needed, and hang it on for air dry. You can also lay them flat on a clean dry towel or cloth with the bristles hanging slightly off the edge of the towel. 
This will allow air to circulate around the bristles and help them dry more quickly. You should never stand your brushes upright to dry. In addition, do not place your brushes in direct sunlight or near a heat source or use a hair dryer to dry them as this can cause the bristles to become brittle and damaged. Just let it air dry in a cool dry place. After that, I take the soap out and rinse the product out of the tin. Then I just leave it open overnight for it to dry. And I also clean the cleaning mat and let it dry completely before putting it away for the next use. Remember, it's very important to clean your makeup tools regularly to keep them in good condition. Some of my brushes I have for over 6-7 years and they never shed or fall out. When you invest a good amount of money in brushes, you should expect them to last for more than 10 years, right? And more important, ensure your skin stays healthy. There is no foundation out there better than healthy skin. Let makeup enhance your natural beauty, not destroy it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. See you soon in my next one. Bye.